everyone, my name is Selva, welcome to Planet Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you are all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in the world of Newcrest again and this time we are building another dollhouse build. So this is actually my second time building a dollhouse build and that means I do not have that many experience with building dollhouses. So um, I still have to learn a lot of things because I have seen a lot of dollhouse builds on Instagram, Twitter, and even on YouTube. I'm not sure about TikTok because I don't have TikTok account. Um, so I believe there are a lot of dollhouse builds on all of the platforms, but I've seen a lot of people create that and I think it's just really beautiful. So since they are inspired me so much, I decided just to create another one over here. So this is for as I said, this is for a gamer, kind of a gamer, I'm not sure about that, but um, the main inspiration was the color, like the RGB lights from those like keyboards, mice, headphones, what else? Um, basically those things, so that's basically the inspiration for this build and I am so excited for this build because I had a lot of trouble um, figuring out everything this is pretty much not my um, comfort zone this is this is a lot harder than I thought it would be but I am so happy with the end result I think it's just so cool with all of the like black and the like colorful neon is is that a word I'm not sure but um, on this build we have one bedroom one bathroom it's all functional I play tested everything I even um, I think I spent at least two sims days on this build, which is quite a lot. But I have to mention that there is one thing that's not functional at all on this build, which is the um, basketball hoop. Um, I will put it in just a few seconds, but that's because the basketball hoop is quite large and um, I sized it down one time, I believe, and I did put it indoor and also it's above the bathroom door so it won't function at all it's totally fine though because it's just for decorative purposes so i think it's okay and for the kitchen i decided to use the countertop from snowy escape but i put the divider from moshino as the like the um, drawer or sliding shutter if that's the word i'm not sure but that's just basically to make the cabinet doesn't look too empty because I I wasn't feeling to fill up all of the like empty cabinets so I basically just closed off one and the other one I filled it off camera because I totally forgot when I was building this but I will put some clutters off camera so it's not going to be very empty which you will see on the screenshot part and also I decided just to use this um, floor tiles both from spa day and decor to the max kit which I think it looks really really pretty and this build was built way before we got the like moonlight shake kit I believe and the little campers kit I think those are the names of the newer kits but this was built way before that like almost two weeks before we got that pack so or kits so yeah, I didn't use anything from that kit because they haven't released yet, but um, I did use some items from a lot of packs. And on the downstairs, we have the living space, the kitchen, the dining, sort of dining, and also the bathroom. And I think the color palette is just really, really cool. I have built something that kind of has this vibe, which was my unicorn or apartment. I thing if I am remembering correctly I will put it on the i card in case you want to check that out after you watch this and on the loft area or the upstairs we have the bedroom I decided just to put two single beds together like close off together because I think it looks really nice and I love this one over here from um, not snowy living but snowy escape and I decided just to put a PC and two monitors and kind of like place them together very closely to create this fake streaming area I would say streaming slash gaming area I did also put a camera with a tripod and two like the 
lights so you have the proper lighting for streaming I didn't put the like drone thingy I believe but if I decided just to use that I have to um, put the like streaming desk something from get famous and I don't want to deal with that so this is the like quote-unquote streaming area and I did also put some seating area on the like balcony not balcony on the like corner area because I think it looks really nice and I sized down the uh, Moshino like the this table I don't know like this coffee table it's very unique it's kind of for like the bad coffee table and I did place a laptop on top of it using the snow escape the tatami sitting dining thing um, it's also not functional so I am truly sorry about that but it looks really cool and you can still use the PC on that desk so yeah I think that's it after this we just have to finishing up the decoration pieces and we'll be heading on to the screenshot in just a few seconds so if you'd like to download this build this is already available on the gallery my ID is alfatiera or you can find it under the hashtag plamisims you can also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website it'll have two different links the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is the tray files link from simple share so yeah i think that's it i really hope you have enjoyed this video and if you do Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to, you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So, yeah, I'm gonna go right now. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me. I hope you have the very best day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.